Hey guys, Daniel here. And Matt, hi. Here from MXK Australia, we've been invited uh, to GE to check out their new Hockey Stick Probe, which they, they released a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we've been in talks with them about doing it, so we all know their L818i, and we have a new one, the L6-24, so we've got a higher frequency Hockey Stick available. Um, had a little bit of a play with the R&D of this, so they're, they've reduced the size of the footprint. <laughs> both in terms of the size of a probe and then also the face. You'll notice the difference between the face. It's a much a slimmer face. It's actually got a, a la slightly larger footprint. It's got a better use and smaller housing around it. And it's got nice little markers for your center and end range for your needle intervention work. Fits pretty nicely in the hand. Nice, small, boutique. And uh, finally, GE has come to the market with a high frequency hockey stick. We've already known that they've had the best hockey stick on the market for a while, but now it's got a, got a bit more punch, a bit more high frequency. We can do a bit more in the superficial structures. So looking forward to seeing what it can do. So we're going to have a little look at the palmocutaneous branch of the motor nerve, one of those superficial little nerves we can see. This one here is quite thick. This is a, a GE employee that we had a little scan of. It's got this thick palmocutaneous branch as it runs through the transverse carpal ligament. Then we have the recurrent motor branch of a median nerve. And this is a real true test of what a probe can do. So as we follow our median nerve down, we follow out of the carpal tunnel to the distal end of the carpal tunnel and we watch and we see a little branch run out and run up and run over the thena eminence up in through here. This is the recurrent motor branch and we see it really nicely as it runs and runs superficial to the thena musculature piercing out in through here through that fascia. The motor branch of the ulnar nerve, the deep branch of the motor nerve and the ulnar nerve. Watch our ulnar nerve come down through Guyon's canal pass for piciform hamate hiatus and in through here and it wraps around comes around the back in through here and it runs all the way across to the thena eminence as it makes its way across to innervate the ad ductor pollicis and the deep head of flexor pollicis brevis so we can turn longitudinal just turn my gain up a bit give it a bit more punch we can see this nerve nicely all the way through the palm of the hand the posterior interosseous nerve of the wrist so the posterior inter interosseous nerve innervates the dorsal wrist joint capsule. It runs under extensor compartment 4 and runs down. And we can see it nicely here over the extrinsic radiocarpal ligament, little ganglion in through here, and it runs down into that joint capsule. And this is a true test of the probe. We can turn the probe longitudinal on that nerve and we can actually define the nerve quite nicely here and long which has been one of the shortcomings of the previous hockey stick. This hockey stick has a nice thin beam width so we can turn turn longitudinal on structures a bit easier. Finally we'll get down to the foot and we'll have a look at the back part of the deltoid in through here. So the back part of the deltoid, the posterior tibiotalar component of the deltoid. Just going to dorsiflex the ankle in here. See really nicely the superficial and deep components of the deltoid. Our flexor retinaculum going around our tibialis posterior really really nicely follow our tip post down nice little os tibiali externum in through here before it inserts in onto the navicular so look I'm, I'm really excited about what we can do with this probe we only had a, a 20 minute play but uh we're going to develop a few presets and see what we can do and, and take it through its paces i'm really excited to have a go at this new 24 megahertz probe thanks guys